Well, hi, this is Yeshua Durkin. I'm doing another Mishnah because I still can't sleep yet because of my surgery of nasoplasty or whatever. So, the last Mishnah was very short, so I'm doing another one. Right now, we're going to do, in the book, Chavos. Uh, we're going to do ch chapter 11 in the 6th chapter. I'm sorry, Mishnah 11 in the 6th chapter. Now, the reason I do it in Hebrew is they say that the, the well, my rabbis in Yeshiva taught that the, that the words of the Torah make you smart. So... It's, I don't think it's such a big deal because it's only one Mishnah that's literally three lines and the rest is all English. So bear with me. Mishnah, Yud Olive, uh, Perik, Vav. Here it goes. Kol Ma Shebaro Hakadosh Baruchu Boilamoi Loi Viraoi Ela Lichvoidoi Shinamar. Koil Hanikra. Vishmi Velich Voidi Berai Siv Yetzar Tiv Af Asisiv Veoimer Adenoi Yimlach Leilam Voed. All that the Holy One blessed be He created in His world, He created solely for His revelation of His glory, as it says in Isaiah 43 7. All that is called by my name, indeed, it is my. It is for my glory that I have created it, formed it, and made it. It further says, in Shemos fifteen eighteen, God shall reign forever and ever. And let us say Amen. So we're going to learn from a Barisa. Uh, this this thing this mission is actually a Barisa. It's a. Uh, Brisa is a statement also from the, from the, the ones that com comprise the Mishnah. Uh, and this is how it goes. After the previous Brisa highlights the five special creations that reveal godliness, the current Brisa turns to the rest of creation and, and explicates their purpose. Midrash Shmuel. This brisa emphasizes the importance of everything and every occurrence. Everything comes into being because God creates it. And everything that occurs does so only because God causes it to happen. The very fact that God himself chooses to create something or cause an event to occur grants immeasurable importance and meaning to that thing or occurrence. In addition, God grants every being the ability to reveal his presence in this world. <laughs> To apply this idea practically, the true purpose of technological advances, for example, is to be used as a tool to further reveal God's presence in this world. This, the Rebbe in Biurim. And now he's saying, like all the technological advances, we're talking medicine, technology. You know, I heard they're coming out with a Tesla phone. Where you can charge the phone with with the power of the sun, all these things are supposed to be to serve God. If you have a phone with unlimited power, just about unlimited power, it's so that we could serve God with unlimited energy, not so we can be involved in mundane unlimitedly, but to acknowledge Hashem. Since no two beings are alike. Since no two beings are alike, each one reveals the presence of God in a unique and in, in, inimitable way. It is thus the sum total of all seemingly small revelations of divinity caused by individuals all over the globe that will together bring about the complete revelation of divinity when God will reign forever and ever. This is in Lakute Sichos, volume 25, page 334. He create so God created solely for His glory. Alternatively, 
for the sake of the Torah, which is called glory. This is also in Lakute Torah. That's the book of the Alter Rebbe in Achare 25D. Hanikra Vishmi Birasiv Yitzartiv Asi Siv. So it's called by my name, created, formed, and made. These four expressions refer to the four worlds. The four worlds are called in Hebrew, Asiya, Berea, Yetzira, and Atsilus. The four stages of a creation, emanation, creation, formation, and actuality. The first three worlds are completely spiritual worlds, each one progressively more self-aware and further from absolute divine consciousness. The lower aspect of the of the fourth world, actuality, that's Asiya. Atsilus is the highest world, and Yetzir and Bira are in between that. Actuality is the physical world we inhabit. The thought that all these worlds came into being for the sake of the fulfillment of Torah should inspire us to serve God in the most perfect way to implement the teachings of Pirkei Avos, going beyond the letter of the law, the Rebbe and Biurim. Hanikra Vishmi Belich Vaidi. All that is called by my name, my glory. Midrash Shmuel explains that this phrase alludes to the highest world, the world of emanation, Atsilus. It is therefore alluded to with the world's my name, my glory, since it is a sublime world filled only with divine names. An example, divine consciousness. Even the loftiest angel cannot fathom the world of emanation. Angels cannot, I mean, angels can only inhibit the lower worlds of creation, Berea and formation, Yetzirah, As, Asisiv, and made it. Or literally, I have even, off made it. Midrash Shmuel explains that this phrase alludes to the creation of the lowest of the four worlds. The world. Oh, I see a little... So, I'm sorry. And made it, or literally I have even off made it. Midrash Shmuel explains that the phrase alludes to the creation of the lowest of the four worlds, the world of actuality, Asiya, which contains our physical world. One might have mistakenly thought that only the highest three worlds were created for God's glory. But our world, in which evil is rampant and godliness is concealed, does not seem to have been created for God's glory. The verse therefore states, I have even made it, even the world of actuality, even the lowest world was created ultimately to reveal God's glory. And when will this occur? The Barisa continues, God shall reign forever. This refers to the messianic era when God's presence and glory will be fully revealed even in the physical world. Midrash Shmuel and the purpose of every being will be fully recognized. Teferis Yisrael. Yeah, we were talking about earlier the four worlds and I now I see this chart right here. See right here, the four worlds. So if you go to the lowest world, which is why it's on the bottom of the page, it's called Asiya, actuality. That's being physically made, the physical world. Then just a little bit higher is Yetzirah, I formed it. That's the world of the angels. And then there's Berea, creation. I created it, and that's the world of the souls. That's why Jews are at a very lofty level because we're not just a physical world. We're, we're actually the souls. The only thing higher than us is, is Atsilu and beyond because that's emanation, my name, my glory, the oneness with God. So, and the very top is Hashem, basically. I mean, the whole world is Hashem, but when you're going to talk about the level of, of heights, only Hashem reaches that level. Then there's levels that are even beyond that. So yeah, the whole purpose of of everything, this whole world, is is really, if you learn Tanya later, to take this lowly world that's full of sin, and, and creatures are able to think that they exist on their own merit, 
take this evil world with the lowly forms and lowly beings. And eventually, when everybody does their mission, the Jews do the 613 mitzvahs, the Noahides do their seven Noahide laws, and everybody does what they were created for, that's when, that's when everything is all for God's glory. And even, and especially Asiya. So Asiya is, is the most difficult. And, and the fact is that Mashiach is going to come. The Messiah is going to be revealed. And in this lowly world, then godliness will be revealed. And at that point, you will see how important this lowly world is. We will take an infinite being, for a, a, such as Hashem, and take a limited being, such as us, with an evil inclination, and all trues Hashem, and house an infinite being in the base of Migdus. And now that's a miracle. It's not a big deal for God to create us. I mean, every, that is a miracle that God creates us every day. But it's a bigger miracle for a limited being to house the infinite one. And that's what we hope for. And may Mashiach be revealed right now. Mashiach now.